Now to the national obsession this time of year, holiday shopping. Just 10 days left until Christmas. Retailers say the season got off to a record start. They expect holiday sales of $469 billion, up almost 4% over last year, but that's a projection. We're also learning about something else. Not everyone at the busy stores and malls is there to shop and spend. Some are expressing a kind of buyer's remorse and returning things that they have already purchased. NBC's Craig Melvin is with shoppers in Herald Square here in New York. Craig, good evening. Brian, good evening to you. As you can see behind me here, the usual pre-holiday energy is alive and well. Thousands of shoppers rushing about with their bags and packages. But this year, thousands of shoppers are also rushing into stores to take back what they've already bought. What happened? Bought too much stuff. Jennifer Moreno had to take back the discount Barbie she snagged during the Black Friday madness. Did a lot of shopping and got some good uh, deals and bought it when I saw it. <laughs> and now? Now it's easy to return. And more and more Americans are returning what they bought before they even wrap it. This year, shoppers are expected to return a record $217 billion worth of merchandise. That's 14% more than last year. One big reason, buyer's remorse. People bought too much in the panic of Black Friday week, broke their budgets, and have to return merchandise now so they can finish their gift buying later in December. Leaving retailers competing not just for sales, have a nice Thank day. You. but for returns. There's no time limit. That's the best part. At Kohl's, you don't even need a receipt to return an item. The bulk of the returns this holiday season are electronics. Companies that make and sell them will lose $17 billion on returns alone this year. That's up 21% since 2007. We think it's a great time to be in our business. Bill Angrick has a warehouse full of TVs, tablets, and more. On his website, liquidation.com, he auctions returned merchandise. We've got different screen sizes. We've got Angrick credits the 30% growth in his business this um, season to smarter about. online shoppers. When you can check on your smartphone, where do I get the best price? That often leads to someone taking back the original purchase and finding a better deal somewhere else. Riaz Kamali bought a pallet full of TVs he plans to sell at his Pennsylvania electronics store. If people were not returning merchandise... I would be out of business right now. Retailer's loss is his gain. People are looking for bargains, you know. They want to save money as much as they can, so they shop around, and that's how we get business. So, Brian, it looks like this year, with just a few holiday shopping days left, the lines at the register are going to be long, and so are the lines at the return counter. Craig Brian? Melvin outside Macy's Herald Square here in New York. Thanks very much.